Hello friends today I show you one new concept in PHP. In this tutorial I will show you that how to perform and use object oriented programming in PHP with MySQL to insert data. For this I have one database with name testing and table name is table posts. In this table there is three column with name post head, post title and post description. Now friends I show you how to create class in PHP. It is a very simple first open page write PHP open and close tag in between this tag write class with name of class. Here I have write databases and save this page with name database.php. So friends our simple class is ready. Now friends I have defined one public variable con for storing database connection link. Public variable means we can access this variable from anywhere. After this friends I have write public function double underscore construct function. Friends this is a constructor. A constructor is our functions in a class that are automatically called when you create a new instance of a class with new. That means whenever new object is create from this class this function will automatically called. So, friends in this function I have make database connection. For making database connection first I have write dollar this variable con is equal to miscly connect with four parameter host is equal to locale host. Username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database is equal to testing. Friends dollar this is reference to the current object. Now friends I want to check system is properly connected to database for this I have write if statement with condition not equal to dollar this con then print database connection error. Now friends I have make one function insert with two parameter one is table name and second is data. This function is make for insert data into my SQL database. In this function I have to make insert query and after making insert query we want to execute this insert query. For making insert query I have divide insert query into three part. In first part one have write insert into statement with table name which is defined in function parameter table name. In second part of query I want to get column name from data parameter with help of implode and array keys function. With the help of array keys function we can get all keys values from data and with the help of implode function I have convert this array into string divide by comma. In third part of query I want to get values from data parameter with help of implode and array values function. With help of array values function we can get all values from data array and with help of implode function we can convert into string with comma delimiter. For checking this function work properly or not for I have used one one PHP page with name test class. In this page first I want to get all functionality of database class, so for this I have write include statement with class name database.php under single colon. Now friends I have create one object data from this database class. With help of this data object we can access all function of database class. Here we want to check our insert function is properly working or not. For this I have used this array. With the help of this array we can check insert query make or not. For this I have write echo object data with function insert with two parameter one table name is product and second is data which I have used this array as data. Now check in browser. Friends you can see that insert query are proper made from our insert function. Now friends I have again moved to database classes insert function.
Now friends insert query properly make now I want to execute this query with help of miscly query function with two parameter one is connection string and second is query. If query properly execute then it will return true otherwise it will print error. Now friends I have moved the test class.php page. First I have removed this code. Friends in this page I have already make one HTML form with method post. In this form I have used one input text box with name post title for getting post title and second is textria with name post description for getting post description. In this form I have used one input type submit button with name submit and value is also submit. Friends I have already create one object data from class database. After this I have defined one variable success message. In this variable I will generate one post inserted message and this will display on page after post inserted into database. Now friends I want to check user is form submitted or not, for check this I have write of statement with condition sub function with dollar post submit. With help of this function we identify that user click on submit button and after this insert data code will run. Now friends first I want store form data like post title and post description into one array with name insert data. In this array there is two key with name post title and I will store form post title data and post description key in which I will store form post description data. For filter data to remove escape from string I have used miscly real escape string function. Now friends I have insert function for insert data, for this I have write of statement with condition. In condition I have write object data with insert function with two parameter one table name equal to table poster and data equal to insert data. If this insert function successfully insert data into database then I have generate post inserted message and store into success message variable. This message will display on page after data successfully inserted. For display this message I write if statement with condition. In condition I have writes if function with parameter success message then it will print success message. Now friends check this code output in browser, it works or not. Friends I data are inserted success message display on web page after form submission. Now I check in database also data are inserted or not in table. Friends in table data are properly inserted. So our object oriented code working for insert data. So, friends this is my video tutorial on how to use object oriented programming and PHP for insert data into my SQL database. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.